In this video, I am going to show you how to locally install Magpie 13 billion parameter model created by Boomer Chan. Magpie 13 billion parameter model is a Llama 2 merge made specifically for Silly Tavern role plays. Silly Tavern role plays is simply a user interface which you can install on your own computer and also on Android phones that enables you to interact with text generation AIs and role play. Now, let me show you how you can install it locally. I'll be using Bloke's quantized version for it and the file size is around 7.26 GB. I'll be using AWS SageMaker Notebook. You can use any Linux instance or even the MacBook as long as Python is installed. The first thing we need to do is to install few of the required libraries. First one is Transformer, so let me run it. Shouldn't take too long. That's done. And as we are using quantized version, so we need to install auto GPTQ. And I'm going to rebuild it with a stable branch. So let's first clone the repository. That is done. Now let's cd to that directory. And let me check out the stable branch. Otherwise, the main one is having some issues. That is done too. And then we are going to install the requirements with pip. That takes around two to three minutes. So let's wait for this one to finish. Auto GPTQ is installed. Now let's download the model. You can see that in this code, first I am importing some of the libraries, specifying the Magpie model and then using the tokenizer, um, auto tokenizer to get the tokenizer for this model and then converting the tokenizer and after downloading it. So let me run it. You can see that it has started downloading. The file as I shown, showed you earlier it is around 7.26 gigs. So let's wait for it to download. The ETA is around eight minutes. Model download is done and as you can see that it took around 15 minutes to download and it will depend upon your bandwidth. Okay, now let's give it a prompt and see how it performs. In this one, I have prepared this long prompt where I'm, because it is mainly suited for silly tavern role play. So I am just giving it this prompt setting, a fictional setting, and then giving it a fictional character and stuff. Now. This is my prompt template. I'm passing this prompt in this template and then I am putting it in the pipeline with the tokenizer and few of the hyperparameters like randomness, temperature, probability and stuff. Okay, let me run it and see what happens. Okay, so obviously, Okay, what it is saying, let me quickly see what that is. Okay, so it is still running, there is no error, it's just a warning. You can ignore this one. So let's wait for it to come back. And how cool is the response? Is? It uh, took around five minutes to come back, but if you look at this response, this is just simply mind blowing. This has really gone into the detail with all the settings, with the characters, Lily and Rose, and then uh, it has put in a very good narrative that Rose blushed deeply, but didn't pull away from Lily's embrace. And then this is actually quite, um, I would say sensual, plus really, really nice. Now um, you can play around with it and then give it more prompts let me try something very simple in the prompt i would just simply going to ask it what are your favorite characters in silly let's see how long does it take this time let me run it And I'm using um, EC2 instance of type G40 and 2x large, as I mentioned earlier, but still 
the performance is quite laggy. It is taking around five minutes to come back. So maybe um, you would need more powerful GPUs if you want more instantaneous responses. So I will just wait for it to come back and see what it does this time. So it has returned and this time fairly quickly within within a minute and then it has given me its uh, favorite character plus with more narrative around it which is great now let me ask it something totally off topic i'm just going to ask it what is the capital of tonga tonga is a pacific island and this is my favorite question which i asked from the llms How cool is that? Absolutely spot on. As you can see, the capital of Tonga is Nokualufa. Very, very nice. Now, let me ask it maybe a coding question to see how it performs uh, coding. And I'm going to ask it a specific question, something like this in AWS CLI. So I'm asking it, write a AWS. Let me just put it here. AWS CLI command to fetch SNS topic and subscriber with each SNS topic. Let's see what it does this time. Let's wait for it to come back. It has returned and now let's see. I think it is fairly quick and quite spot on, I would say. Uh, very nice. I'm very impressed by this model so far. Now let's ask it a bit more generic question so what i'm doing here is i'm asking it i want to renovate my bathroom in my house i want to self-manage this project okay sorry i think i just need to fix this and there you go okay so let me run it again what i'm asking it that i want to renovate renovate my bathroom in my house i want to self-manage this project i have never done this before so please guide in simple word as what are the steps of this process and what are the risks I should be aware of. So let's see how it responds. And mind you, it's a fine-tuned model. So uh, and fine-tuning seems to be very of top quality. It has returned the response after five minutes again, but let's see how it has done. Okay, so you can see that this was the instruction and this is the response. Now, um, plan ahead, budgeting, hiring professionals, prepare the area. And then demolition, installation. Pretty good, generic, I would say. And then um, also risks. And this is awesome. I think this is a good one. Failure to obtain necessary permits. Very, very well done. Poor quality material workmanship. Very nice. So I believe all in all a very, very good model. And if you have any questions or if you're stuck, please feel free to put it in the comments. And I will also put in all the commands which I have used in my blog and I will drop the link in video description. Um, and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.